Today, I'll be showing you how I turned a free bookshelf into a baller desk with a TV as a desktop. So, there was a bookshelf being thrown out and I decided to take it in because why not? At that point, I DIY'd a TV of sorts, so the old one was sort of just sitting to the side. I had this crazy idea of making the TV as my desk. And turns out, a lot of other people have done similar projects, but instead, usually for a coffee table or Dungeons & Dragons. It took a while for me to initiate it, but once I bought a drill and made some dimensions, I couldn't go back. I also planned on making a smaller shelf for my younger brother. I pulled all the dimensions from the shelf and TV and made a rough sketch of what I wanted to make. The shelf is pretty tall, so it worked out great for the longest sides of the TV. I made a 3D model of the desk in Autodesk Inventor of what I intended to build. As you'll see a little later, it's not going to be as polished as my 3D model, and some design choices would need to be changed due to the lack of proper tools or space. Speaking of, I disassembled the entire shelf and salvaged all of the screws. Despite the thinner thickness of the wood, it's still pretty sturdy. I was originally going to buy a cheap wood saw for cutting, but I ended up getting my hands on an old circular saw which would make things much easier. I tested it out by making the bookshelf, it went pretty smooth and the finished product is not half bad. I then began cutting the side pieces for the desk. I made the first few cuts alright, but the last one was pretty messed up. I also messed up on what pieces I was supposed to cut, but I made it work in the end anyway, and it actually became more sturdy. I screwed everything together and made sure the TV fit snugly. I then proceeded to making the supports for the TV. It took a bit of trial and error, but I ended up with something like this. I wasn't entirely sure if it would hold the TV too well, but I felt pretty confident. I hadn't quite figured out what I was going to do for legs, so I went to Lowe's and Home Depot to get some supplies. For paint, I got a paint and primer matte black can, and I was originally going to drop 50 bucks on a sheet of acrylic, but I ended up getting a really thick sheet of polycarbonate from my dad. They used polycarbonate for various cleaning machines at his workplace, and this was great as I could pocket some money for something else. It wasn't quite the right size, but it's good enough. I used a circular saw to trim the longer side, and I was left with a pretty clean cut and a snow-covered wasteland. I cleaned off the desk and prepped it for painting. Now it was time to tackle the legs. I don't know what was going through my head at this point. I mean, it was really hot outside, so maybe I should have taken a break. I had good intentions, but the setup I had wasn't working too well at all. It also didn't help that the wood was splitting either. My dad found some 2x4s from an old truck, and I cut three legs, this time with an appropriate height, and I put two smaller ones together for a fourth. The wood from the shelf kept splitting, so I decided to drill a hole in first, then drive the screw through it whenever I was mounting two pieces together. I then cut four square pieces for the legs to be mounted onto. I load tested it with the TV in my entire setup, and while it was wobbly, it wasn't going anywhere. I had to remake the square pieces because the wood kept splitting anyways. I even mounted one of them entirely different because of my genius cutting skills. I got another can of spray paint and painted the legs and let it sit for the paint to dry. To protect the TV, I put black tape all over the parts of the wood that would touch the back end of the TV and I wrapped the sides of the TV with packing tape. I left the TV sitting in my cruel excuse for a desk for maybe a week just to see if it would fail, but it held just fine. By that point, I already made holes to mount the sheet of polycarbonate onto the desk. Before I put it in my room, I wanted to try and clean up the look. I cut some thin pieces of acrylic, painted them black, to make the parts of the desk that are seen a tad more presentable. After leaving them to dry, I took apart my Walmart table setup and placed the desk. I made sure everything was clean before I installed the TV and removed the protective film from the polycarbonate. I didn't mention this before, but the TV is poking out of the desk so it's not entirely flush. I could have messed with the legs a bit more, but I just used some more tape to fill in the gaps and protect the TV from excessive dust. A bit of reorganizing and this is the end result. I decided that it would look better without my PC on it, so I put it on this small table for now. I need another display cable to use it with my PC, but it's definitely a step forward in completing my setup. The quality of the desk isn't great, it's fine for now, but I'll probably work on a version 2 in the future. A slightly different design with maybe a computer stand or integrated I.O. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Anyways, I used some double-sided tape to mount the black acrylic strips, 
and even though it's a pretty bad paint job, it's better than looking at a bunch of holes. The TV itself isn't the best when it comes to resolution, it's 1080p, but it still has solid speakers and a generous amount of I.O., so it's great as a toy or for testing older electronics. I'd also like to find out if it's actually 120Hz. All in all, I'd say that this project went pretty well and I'm glad that I did it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.